and consumer activism, you cannot underestimate this. I'm going to talk about it a bit more. But this generation has been brought up with intuitive technology. They don't understand why I don't understand how to do the most simple things. Ask my daughters. And they, they've watched the Arab Spring revolutions. They've watched Occupy Wall Street. They've watched push against countless multiple brands. They've watched what's going on in Hong Kong. They're watching what's going on with climate change. They have come to the world saying, we have a right to speak. And if you won't listen to me, I might just bring up my phone and shoot a video or tell somebody because they trust me and they're going to mobilize other people against you. And that's the negative side, the punitive side. The positive side is that reputation is the key differentiator, a timeless proposition of marketing and advertising, but it has never been more important because the context, the global context, is really a little bit more scary than it has been in the past. And if I was to say what brands need to do differently to capture this opportunity, the first is this fourth word here. You need to lead your employees and all stakeholders through this shift. You don't need to be part of it. You don't need to acknowledge it. You don't need to get these materials. You need to lead them through this because they're scared and they're not nearly as well informed as you are and they're not here. They don't know what to do. You've got to lead them through it. And it's hard because sometimes the biggest battle is internal as opposed to external. Sometimes it's so hard to get everybody on the same page in your silos and matrices and everything in your corporation. That's the battle that needs to be won before you can even talk about going out and speaking to your consumers in a different way.